Hey y'all, Taylor by Debbie here. This week I'm going to teach you how you can make a storage stand to store lots of your crafting supplies in. We're going to be using one of these metal tags from the Dollar Tree. A Lazy Susan that I got at Dollar General for $8. We're going to be using a few packs of these little pegboard squares that you can buy at the Dollar Tree. And they're made by Jot. And then also some accessories that go with the pegboard system. These are little shelves. These are pegs. And then we're gonna be using magnetic locker containers that you can put onto the metal tag here. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take some hot glue and some super glue. And we are gonna glue some of these together. But first we need to figure out the direction that we want these to fit. And they have like an indention to show you how these go. So we're gonna go ahead and take, I'm just using some Gorilla Super Glue and Super Glue brand Super Glue. And I'm using the gel because the gel is thicker. Let's see if this tip is stopped up and it's not. So I'm just gonna put some here and then I'm also gonna take some dots of hot glue and you don't want the super glue and the hot glue to touch because then they'll de kind of deactivate each other. So I'm going to put these together. I'm going to hold them together. Looks like there's something on that one. I'm just going to hold these together for a few moments. Use care not to get the hot glue or the super glue actually on your fingers because it will make your fingers stick together, y'all. So if you need to wipe up some of the glue, I'm gonna take a baby wipe and just wipe it with that. Okay, any that has seeped out, I'm just gonna wipe down each side and then we're gonna set that one aside. And then you're going to complete this same process with the remaining black peg tiles. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to make two panels, one for each side. So we're going to make sure that we have our indentions and our peg sides in the correct position. And we're going to do the same thing we did a while ago. I'm going to do next is I'm going to take some hot glue on the back side and I'm just going to put a bead of hot glue very thin going back and forth from one side to the other just to kind of help seal this in. I want it to be kind of flat. So that when we go to press this down onto our tag, it's not going to interfere. Just a little bit more reassurance of holding these two pieces together. All right, so that one's done. I'm gonna sit it over here to dry. And this one feels like it's good and ready. I'm just going to push down that glue. Then we're going to take our tag and we want to line up the bottom edge of this with the bottom of our tag. But we want it to be an, a side where there are no pegs sticking out. So we're going we're gonna to sit it on here this way. Okay, and we're going to do the same thing we did earlier. We're going to focus our super glue 
in certain areas, I'm gonna put the super glue in all the corner areas. there and then I'm going to take the hot glue and we're going to squirt it we have to move fast with the hot glue we're going to squirt it everywhere else and there again we have to move really fast with this hot glue because it will cool pretty quickly And then we want to turn this over and line it up with the bottom edge of the tag. So we're going to stand it up because you only have a few moments to make sure you've got that down all the way to the edge. And even from side to side, then we're going to push it down. Okay, and then you want to take a baby wipe and wipe any seepage. the super glue that might be coming out the edges. Just kind of wipe that off. Okay, and we want to put some of the super glue in the corners on this one as well. Okay, now that we have some of that in all the corners, we're going to work fast again with our hot glue. Now those should be glued down and good on both sides. I'm going to cut off this string because we don't need it. Just need it. On the pliers, there's a little cutting area. You can just pull it up to that cutting area and use that to cut that off, or you can use a pair of scissors. Okay, now I'm going to come over on the side and I'm going to sand off any of the super glue globs or hot glue globs that may have seeped through over here on each side. And it just comes right off, y'all, if there is any. Right here we got some hot glue. When you sand it, it just comes right off. So then we're gonna bring over our turntable and we're going to figure out where on here that we want this to sit okay and then we're going to go ahead and take our glue I'm going to um, actually get a ruler let's get a ruler and we will mark kind of where the center is on this As well. Okay, out here. So we know this is about the center of our board. So we're going to want to glue it right here. I'm just going to lay it down and I'm going to squirt a bunch of the um, super glue gel. 
And I don't have much left of the other one, so I'm going to use this new tube. And I'm going to put a liberal amount of this all over the bottom. And that's very similar to the Gorilla Glue Super Glue. It's just the Super Glue brand of the Super Glue Gel. that all over the bottom put the lid back on and it took pretty well a whole t small tube of this y'all to all right to do that now I'm gonna try to find my center again I've got my marks here so I'm gonna just set it down and once you set it down you're pretty well committed y'all and just hold it down until it sets up 15 to 20 seconds at least. Okay. Turn it around and we're going to push it down again. Okay, y'all. And that is pretty well set up. So now we have a turntable peg holder for our craft supplies. And then you can just add these accessories that come with this set. And you buy them separately. This is a little shelf, so we can come in here where these pegs are. And actually, we don't need one that low. Let's put one about halfway up here, y'all. Or even, I think even the next row up there. And I'll put one straight across from it here on this side. And these just go on super easy. They just, you know, set in those peg holders. And then these locker um, magnets, I'm just going to take the stickers off the back, giving that magnet more area to hit directly with the metal. And then these, we're just going to sit at the top on each side. All right, and then on the back side, I'm going to use the different types of peg hooks like these we'll put over here on the top so then you can hang things like well these are too um, narrow but we can hang that one off of this one right here you can hang your pliers your scissors off of these and then we have some shorter little hooks that we can also add. To hang things from. And these are adaptable, movable. You can move them around as your needs change. And then you can fill it up with your supplies as you see fit. I will take a video and show y'all what it looks like when I'm finished. But thank y'all so much for watching. I hope you will give this a try. I did have inspiration for this project from my friend Denise of Doodle Denise Designs. She created a similar um, craft holder uh, and I just wanted to put my spin on it and show you guys my idea for it. But it, it's super cool. You can put tons of supplies on here, y'all. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe to my channel and click that bell so you'll always be notified when I put up new videos. Drop a comment down below and let me know what you think of this project and let me know if you're going to give this one a try. Thank y'all so much for watching. Have a blessed day.